Father, thank you for your presence this morning. Thank you, Lord, that there is no greater joy than being in your presence. Mm -hmm. Father, you said that you would show us the path of life, that in your presence is fullness of joy. Mm -hmm. And Lord, we thank you for who you are. You are the sovereign Lord of the universe. Mm -hmm. And you reign and you rule over heaven and earth and all flesh. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Dr. Smalley here safely today. Thank you, Lord, for the anointing on this man, Lord. Amen. I thank you, Lord, that as he has gone through trials, he has turned around and used those, Lord, to help other people. Yes. And Lord, thank you for how you have given to him the wisdom and the gentleness of Jesus yes. to touch people, Lord, who are hurting today Amen. and who need wise counsel. Amen. Father, we ask today for a fresh anointing for him, as well as Herman and Sharon. Lord, the people watching today, there is so much turmoil and devastation in this world, Lord. They're looking for answers, Lord. But Lord, first and foremost, it's the children and grandchildren, Lord, that are looking for answers as well. Lord, give the parents wisdom through these airwaves today that they will see there is a way to plant hope within their children, no matter what circumstances are swirling around them. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, for the word of God that's sharp and powerful as a two-edged sword and pierces to the dividing asunder the soul and the spirit. Thank you, Lord, for the power of your word and the power of Jesus' name and the power of Jesus' blood. Be honored and glorified today, Father, and all that's said and done in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's time. It's time. And now, it's time for Herman and Sharon. I love you. <laughs> wow. I try. Oh, there's your song. Everything that I know to try, I've bought. Uh, Everything that I've known to buy. In my younger days. Like yeah. Thank you, T. That's, that's the classic Imperials. I listen to them while I'm jogging. It's a great class. There it is right there. Go online, get your copy. They were our guests a while back. Yes, I love that song, mm -hmm. though, that, that particular one. Oh, I know. You know, we have uh, email prayer requests. Th this one really caught my eye because I love somebody that when they give you a prayer request, and we pray for these in, in the office, they cover everything. This is from uh, uh, Santa Clara, California. Please pray for th salvation, healing, peace, safety, protection, and prosperity for all my family, relatives, friends, loved ones, <laughs> and all whom I prayed for. The Lord knows who we are. Please pray that the Lord would deliver me and all of us from all financial income. She, don't, she doesn't want income. No, I'm just kidding. You'll, you'll understand. Legal health, job career, car, transportation, housing, family, domestic problems, troubles, and attacks. Boy, now, that's I, everything. I like somebody that <laughs> covers the whole thing. Okay, if you're going to pray, cover the whole thing. Isn't that neat? <laughs> that is. That's, a, uh, that's unusual. I've never seen one like that before. I know, that's reason it, it stood out. i, I got to keep that as an example. <laughs> if you want to request, do it right. Yeah, crust everything. We have a yes, guy we that do. I just... You know, he is so... We have a lot of fun with him. ...complete <laughs> in what God has given him as a gift. Mm -hmm. And right. he's even used For years. by... years. We saw him at one time. He was used by the stars. Remember? I mean, we would Absolutely. sit and watch those specials with uh, Kathy Lee Gifford. Right. Her and, and Frank were having yeah, a problem. And, and, and I mean, that was a whole series. But this guy... How many books have you written? Sixty. <laughs> 60 books. 60. His name is Gary Smalley, by the way, while yeah, we're talking Dr. to him. Dr. Gary Smalley. Dr. Gary Smalley. And we're going to do two parts. So this is going to be the first part, mm -hmm. and then stay tuned for the next part because it is powerful, dynamic. I've gone yes. through the book. We in always fact, learn something. In fact, they also different. have a DVD, and you can meet his entire family because Great. I watched every one of the DVDs. You did? And That's they amazing. are good. <laughs> stay right there, buddy. Good to have you again. Hi, Dr. Smalley. Good to see you again. This is Sharon. Yeah. Founder of Smalley Relationship Center. Yes. Relationship Center. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um,
conferences nation, nationwide, right? Yes. He sold more than six million resources for family and churches. Copies, books that he's written. Been on Oprah Winfrey. Wow, Larry you've King arrived. arrived. Today's show. <laughs> uh, you know, th this is, you know, every year I get a star. <laughs> uh, it usually one. This is my star this year, okay? This is my star. Uh, Good to have you, buddy. It's great to be back. Uh, seems like we've been doing this for yeah, a whole lifetime. I yeah. He and I, we did one show. I don't know whatever happened to that tape. I'd love to bring it up. But w uh -huh. this facility, w we do not have modern technology here. It's kind of, okay. But it had we had the available technology, we could have brought that up right now. But I, I remember we did a program. That you know, when you start laughing, you can't stop. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that was that kind of program. <laughs> and it's like everything uh, we said, uh, uh -huh. it became uh, laughter. Uh, but uh, laughter's good, isn't it? Oh, it's awesome. My wife and I just said this morning, we got to laugh today, more than usual. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know when you laugh with a your your mate, even if it's nothing funny, if you're just driving down the road and you're uh -huh. driving and we, we do that all the time. Yeah, yeah you can just start yeah. laughing. <laughs> And it coats your brain with oxytocin, That's true. which then want, uh, motivates you to want to cuddle. I, I laugh at, mm -hmm. I laugh because he makes me laugh sometimes. You yeah. know, some of his little things that he I does know, just breaks me up. That's right. Now, we, we haven't changed the set, mm -hmm. but uh, but Gary Small, like it, Dr. Dr. Gary Smalley mm -hmm. has. Mm -hmm. I mean, all these. Pla this, this is not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But believe it or not, he he used our toilet in the green room, <laughs> and he tried to fix it. Okay. So so if if if. if, if if you go in the green room and the toilet doesn't work, you can go over to the ladies right next door. Okay, so we, I can go to Home Depot or and get that part. I know what it is. <laughs> you know exactly. Wow. Uh, where's Gary? Sp He's in there working on the toilet. He just did an interview two of them. He's working on the toilet. Uh, Twenty thousand to sixty thousand thoughts per day. day. Today, to, every day. Yeah, and when in one lifetime, the average person has a billion thoughts. A billion. They add up. And what most people don't realize is that every thought seeps into your heart and finds its mother tree inside. And I explain all, I get to explain all that today, but it's, it's hard amazing. to control them too, isn't it? It is, except that, that uh, I'm learning how to take my thoughts captive under the obedience of Christ. I'm learning how to do that right. little by little. This morning, oh, I was awake at five, just having a ball, controlling my thoughts, but I, I was thinking about very specific things. And so now my whole life is revolutionizing. I mean, I'm being transformed at, at 70 years of age. I know you're much younger, but, <laughs> but, uh, but at 70. I got, you, I got you two years. I know, buddy. but you don't look like it. So that plastic yeah. surgery really <laughs> helped you a lot. I haven't had any yet, <laughs> thinking about it. Uh, but, I know what it needs it. But, but it, it is interesting, you know, when people keep saying you look mm -hmm. young, I don't know if they really mean it. I do. <laughs> because, because it's like you'd like uh, to go inside their brain and go, what do they really think? That's My right. Goodness. What are their thoughts? I saw him 10 years ago. Uh, uh, Can't believe what's uh, happening. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so, so those thoughts. Yes. Uh, but, and, yeah. and, 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 you know, we have imaginations that happen exactly. in their mind. And those are thoughts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you, I, I read someplace, probably Gary Small, <laughs> that if you bring those imag imaginations into captivity, mm -hmm. you never have to be a slave to them. Exactly. Right. In fact, in summary of what this guarding your child's heart's about, in summary, it's four teachings of Jesus, four commands of Jesus, that you can fit all of his teachings into, just four. And then I started discovering on my own, just out of curiosity, I'm like a scientific study of one. And so I went back through the scriptures, got Googled all the commands of the Bible. You can fit all of the commands of the Bible into four of Christ's teachings. So I got so pumped about that about five years ago that I just said, well, if I can fit them all in this four, then I'm going to start thinking about these all day long, off and on. Uh, many times a day, and then the, the neuroscientists say you really only have to do it seven to 12 times a day, but I do it many more times than that, because I want to control what goes into my brain, and then what goes into my brain seeps into my heart, 
which I think is the subconscious, but I can explain all that in a minute. But anyway, it's just amazing because I'm growing. The reason I have these bushes here mm -hmm. is that everybody listening today is growing trees in their mind, hmm. whether they like it or not, because every thought seeps into your heart, your subconscious mind, and grows a, a tr bush at first, and then pretty soon it's a tree, like these back here, and then the fruit starts growing on those trees, and I don't want, this is the one I'm gonna show you, this is a poisonous f tree. You oh. can touch it and, and get, <clears throat> you know, like poison ivy, and, and if you eat it, you will surely die because this tree is purple and it looks harmless, looks very attractive. We should have this here, but if you mess with it, it, it Satan came to steal, kill, and destroy everything wholesome inside of us. <coughs> Excuse me, <coughs> that flim. And so, anyway, I was sick like a month ago and it's still hanging on. I know. Whatever it, it is. does, you yeah, can't get does. rid of it. I know, but anyway, <laughs> this, this is it's Satan. It's some crud. Sa yes, <laughs> yeah. Satan wants us to meditate on his thinking. The world has four beliefs that, that still kill and destroy everything good in us. If you look at the world and the society we're living in today, society is bought into the, his beliefs and he's the prince of this world. That's right. So he's gotten them to grow these purple trees in their heart and now the fruit of that is is lying, stealing, drugs, addictions. Mm -hmm. There's 300 different addictions. He's got so many people addicted to everything. And look at the evil in our world. Comes oh right out goodness. of this. But Jesus is like this plant. He's the red words of Christ, is Ooh, what look, I call it. Hey, that's got fruit on it. I know, see the fruit? Yeah. yeah, that's in your green room. Wow. I stole it right out of your green room. <laughs> I, it was so fun. <laughs> I said, where do we get these plants? <laughs> Little Hapsel said, well, they came out of here. <laughs> exactly. So, and, the, and I like this because that's the fruit of the Spirit. So that if you grow a red tree, yeah. starts with a bush, it'll become a huge tree in your brain. And all your thoughts that are similar to those will go to that. And here's what Jesus said. If my words abide in you, and I've found that four of them, you can fit them all in. So f if my four words abide in you, then you're truly my disciples. You will know the truth, and that truth will set you free. Mm -hmm. So I got so pumped about this, I started teaching my own grandkids. Yeah. I have 10 of them now. And, wow. and it was so much fun to watch my grandkids change. And, and, and I don't have the picture with me today. Grandma does, but I don't yeah. have pictures yeah. with me. But anyway, they're just growing like... Um, uh, weeds. Yeah, it's like flowers. weeds. <laughs> they, they are like flowers. Yeah. And, and my one granddaughter, the oldest granddaughter is, is uh, 16, soon to be 17. So she's memorizing 1st, 2nd, 3rd John. And I said to her about a month ago, I said, now what are you getting out of it? She said, Grandpa, I'm going to be a pediatric missionary doctor. So she got Grandpa's brain. Oh, and she's, oh, she said, I don't even care whether I make any money because this book is telling me that Jesus is all I'll ever need. Wow. So the money's not a big deal to me, but I'm very excited about ministering to little kids all over the world. So wherever wow. God sends her. Anyway, she's gorgeous. She could be, you know, doing, she could go to Harvard on a scholarship, brilliant. And, and get her doctor's degree and make a ton of money. That's not her focus. Yeah. This is the world's focus is to make a ton of money because they the world teaches you that you'll make a if you make a lot of money you're going to be happy. That's yeah. right. Anyway, so anyway, that's the two contrasting things. I've got my grandkids convinced, uh, myself and my wife convinced, that if we think on Christ's commands all day long, every day, it's Psalm one. How blessed you are when you don't walk in the counsel of the ungodly, this. Mm -hmm. You don't stand in, 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 the, in the path of the unrighteous. The, you, know, you don't sit in the seat of scoffers, mm -hmm. but your delight is in the law of God. And Jesus said, I didn't come to teach you my stuff. I came to tell you what God told me to say. Right. And he said all those things to us. And then he gave us four of them. Actually, there's two of them that, that, obey, that, that fulfill all the laws. And, and I, I added two more of his teachings that that to me just is the essence of life. So You're a great illustration guy because in the DVD, the DVDs are wonderful. And wait for part two of this uh, interview because we're going to get into some other things. But you talk about uh, the red beliefs and the purple beliefs. Right.
Right. Uh, now, what does that illustrate? Uh, they're like red beliefs or, or red memories and purple memories. Every, we have, okay, here's how exciting this is to me. <laughs> there are a hundred billion neurons in our brain, cells, memory maybe, cells. Maybe yours, not mine. Yeah, <laughs> you probably have more. <laughs> and so, uh, anyway, and you take you three million years to use them all up. Mm. Wow. See, so, so, I mean, it's just, we have so many that we never use during our lifetime. Yeah. But you can, every thought you have, so if you think about Christ's words all day long, the, you're going to be set free. And so I tested all this stuff. I'm still testing all this stuff. Okay, what can I be set free? What do I get? I get the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness. Truth sets us free from our addictions. The, the, you read that the prayer request of that woman yeah. from California. Great, yeah. I love that. She, what she may not realize is that Christ's words eliminate 90% of what she was talking about. Because... We are blessed, and when you get blessed by God, it's not just prosperity. I mean, it's all kinds of things. Right. When the Old Testament talks about blessing, and then the New Testament, Jesus says you get blessed by God. I go, whoa! And so, the four ways we get blessed by God, same to His teachings. And so, anyway, I get my kids to think about these, my own grandkids, my son. Ooh, you, you, I, you've got two yeah, sons. I have two sons and a daughter. And, and by the way, on the DVD, you actually meet the daughter. Yeah, yeah. I, that's I've true. Always, I've never met the daughter. I've had the sons <laughs> on with, <laughs> yeah. uh, with Gary. Uh -huh. And, and yeah. they're, they're a hoot also. Oh, she's I mean, a sweetheart. Chip off the block yeah, yeah, yeah. But your daughter yeah. is so, I mean, she is so sweet and compassionate. Yes, and I she go, is. my goodness. I know she is. She, her dream is to, to, uh, to get all of the orphans in the world adopted. 140 million of them. And she's working at it. She's wow. and she has a, she adopted a little Ethiopian. She did a little old guy. Cutest she, I know baby she's gorgeous. You've ever she, yeah, seen. exactly. It's on yeah. the DVD. Yeah, she's very pretty. And so, uh, anyway, um, so I can't remember where we were. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's uh, adopting. Oh, she, she's she's or, or she's has an organization. She wants to adopt another, but she works yeah. for an organization that that's trying to pair people up with these little orphan kids all over the world. They're so mm -hmm. precious and. And, but it's not just in Ethiopia, in Africa, it's in America, it's in every country of the world. Now, what's interesting is yeah. her family, when she first had these ideas exactly. of adopting, they go, right. what I know, we all got after her. And you, got, and you yeah. said in the DVD, I, I, did. I said, what are you thinking? Yeah, exactly. That's going to, that's going to, you know, upset yeah. our family dynamic, you know, that's what right. about vacations and stuff? Yeah. She fought right through all that, said, Dad, you'll get it one of these days. And so, and I did, and, and so, but the, why are there so many orphans in this world largely because of these purple beliefs? Mm -hmm. Because these guys are, are uh, getting these girls pregnant, why? That's right. Because they think that's gonna be the, that's real happiness is to have the freedom to have a girlfriend to get her pregnant. <sighs> Comes right, steal, Satan, steal, kill, and destroy. That's exactly what happens. And then they leave these little kids and they go off, and some of them are kidnapped. You know, the trafficking of these oh, little girls and guys all over the world. Awful. Why? Because of purples in their heart. Mm -hmm. Jesus came to set us all free. And, and I never really even understood half, I'm still just scratching the surface, mm -hmm. of the meaning of knowing Christ and his words in our heart. What do you mean by yeah. guarding the parent's heart? Okay, uh, Proverbs 4.23 says, above everything you do every day, Guard your heart. Mm -hmm. And again, I think it's the subconscious mind because neurologists are saying that the subconscious mind controls everything about it. Absolutely, us. I agree. Okay, so that, yeah. so that the conscious mind, <clears throat> here's how fascinating this is. The conscious mind only has 2,000 actions every second. 2,000 actions every second. Conscious mind. Right. I'm aware of it. Subconscious mind, which I think is the heart, has 4 billion, 400 billion uh, actions every second. 400 billion. Can that thing operate or what? Wow. And so it just controls us, <laughs> brings our thoughts to our brain, to our conscious mind. I want thoughts coming out of my red memories and beliefs, not the purple ones. I had a lot of purple ones. <sighs> I mean, yeah. I still have a lot of purple ones because I had 65. I got more than you've got. No, <laughs> I'm not sure more than you. <laughs> he goes way back. We've, right. had, we've had some time. And he oh. goes, he's looking at me and he goes, Man, are we alike? <laughs> well, I, I haven't. I don't. If I told you that that when I was five years of age and then six and seven, I didn't have any rules as a kid growing up. My family, mother and father, worked all the time. My brothers and sisters took care of me if I wasn't in preschool or something. And so, 
I ran wild in Downey, California. Just yeah. those new little homes that they had back mm -hmm. then. And, and so what did I do? Everything kids can do with immorality. Everything. And so, because nobody watched me, and we were just as kids getting together in you know, each other's so garages. So did you bring that into your marriage? I brought, I brought the thoughts okay. into my marriage, because I am, as a man thinks into his heart, yeah. subconscious mind, so are we. Mm -hmm. uh, guard your heart above all things, because whatever, the, it is the wellspring of who we are. Yeah, and right. so my heart is who I am. And so I had all those thoughts. I had 60 years of immoral thoughts. Mm -hmm. So why why did I keep having immoral thoughts? Because this was in my heart. So, so I had a giant last, tree. So the last ten years you haven't had any thoughts? No, in the last ten years my thoughts are like minimal compared to the first sixty f years, sixty mm -hmm. years, yeah, after five. So I was sixty-five years old when I started learning this. Really? I was in, I was in Orlando, not far from here, and and uh, I was walking one morning. Uh, do I have time to tell sure, this absolutely. quick story? Uh, and, and now, is this after your transplant? No, yeah, you, this is after had, the transplant. Uh, but let, let me go on real quick. He died on a mountain. That's right. They uh -huh. revived him. Uh -huh. He's had a kidney transplant right, exactly. given by your son. Yeah, exactly. Right here. And, yeah. mm -hmm. and, and you have gone through some horrendous health yeah, problems. Yeah, exactly. I should have died, and my cardiologist knew I should have died. And all of your books basically are written by personal experience. Exactly. Yep, my failures. Okay, you're in Orlando. Yeah, you're I'm in Orlando. I'm walking. And, and, a, and a gorgeous 20-something uh, girl was walking also. She was walking past me, and, and she said hi, and I said hi, and, and my head just whipped right around you know, and watched her walk away. And, and, I, and, I, and, and it wasn't with 100 steps more than before. And you I was were 65 thinking, when you looked at that? Yes, <laughs> and I was, having, I, was, I was having immoral thoughts about her within seconds, and I, thought, and I stopped myself. I said, wait, I'm 65 years old. I said, God, am I always going to have these thoughts? I've had them since I was five. If I, my, well, I always have those thoughts because I've been told by Christian speakers and counselors that men never lose their immoral thoughts they have uh, during their lifetime for all kinds of reasons. They give all these reasons, and I bought right into that mm -hmm. because I had so many, my purple, uh, lustful, uh, pleasure-seeking uh, uh, tree in my brain my sub, was giant. Because I had thousands and millions of thoughts like that through my life until I was 65. So I said to God, I'm sick of this. And so since you said if I hide your word in my heart, I won't continue to sin against you. Okay, what verse should I memorize to get rid of these lustful thoughts? And I, by the time I got back to my hotel, talked to Norm about it, I got Galatians 5, uh, 13 and 14. And here's what it says. We're, uh, uh, it says, God has given us freedom through the, His words living within us, His Holy Spirit, and, and, but don't use your freedom for immoral fleshly pleasures. Mm -hmm. Use your freedom to love and serve people because if you do that, you're, then if you love people like you'd like to be loved, you're obeying all the laws and the prophets. I go, Whoa, that's a good one. I meditated on that verse, those two verses, for two weeks. And when I meditate, and I, I hope we can get into the next yeah, time or this yes. time, whatever one, yeah. but here's the key of meditation. Here's what I'm learning from, from myself. If you do it with great passion, uh, meditation on a, on a, well, on the verses of, of the Bible, because they're all alive, powerful, and sharper than a two-edged sword. Mm -hmm. And so take Jesus' thoughts, and I, when I meditate on them, I go, whoa, this is so awesome because I get blessed if I love others in the same way I, I want to be You said loved. whoa in God's presence? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was checking. That's right. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> just himself in God's presence. That's good. Whoa. I know. Anyway, but I get really into it. I get emotional. I think of emotional th um, definitions of the words in, of the verse. Mm -hmm. And I, I get passionate and highly committed. And I say, God, I can hardly wait for me to see this in my life based on your word. And I did it for two weeks. Just those two verses. God's given me freedom. Don't use it for flesh. Uh, use it to love and serve people. I was in a jacuzzi splashing in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, with my granddaughter, and into the room walked uh, two 20-somethings uh, models in bikinis. And so they start walking towards the jacuzzi, and, and Hannah says to me, Grandpa, there's two real Barbie dolls. <laughs> and I said, I see them. And, and so anyway, first thought that came to my brain after two weeks was, 
I wonder if they know how much God loves them. I wow. Thought, oh, I haven't had that thought ever. <laughs> you know. And then my, in this I know. And my th yeah. and my second uh, thought was, I wonder if their daddy loved them as they were growing up. And I started getting teared up. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, if they're married, I wonder if their husband loves them as Jesus loves the church. And I went back to my room and I thought, what are you doing? I watched him free me of 99.9% .9 of the thoughts I'd had for 60 years of my life. Wow, that's very interesting. And rarely does it come. It has mm -hmm. to be certain situations, I have to be really tired, it has to be certain whatever. Yeah. And, and, but I just go right back to the same thing and I say, God, thank you for healing me and freeing me. Just thank you for continuing yeah. to do it. I go right back to wow. freedom. Yeah. And, and I, but every day I never fail to meditate uh, like David did in Psalm 1 on his, on his right. teachings, on his word, on That's his commands. That's the key, isn't it? Four of them. Meditating yeah. on that. Yeah. You know, I've often wondered if monks have bad thoughts. I bet they that do. That they just pray all day long. I bet they do if they have purples in their heart. Mm. Yeah. Even without visual. Yeah. Well, look, in fact, look, look at <clears throat> what's happened to the Catholic Church. Yes. With the priests. Yes, that's right. They went into the priesthood mm -hmm. thinking they were going to be helped because they had a lot of immorality in their life beforehand. They were yeah. maybe abused by their mom or dad. They're abused by some uncle or aunt or something who somebody abused yeah. them usually, and so they get they wow. they feel so maybe sometimes so unworthy of, of of whatever even believing in God. So they think, well I'll go be a priest and and then I'll get healed. No, you don't get healed unless His word is in your heart. Oh, Martin right. Luther as a Catholic priest said, my life was so fouled up that until I started memorizing scripture and meditating on it, God, I was not free. And he, he said in a little, his book to his barber, have you ever read that? It's really a cute little pamphlet. Just, it's just a letter to his barber. He said, he said I had a, a, one of my professors in seminary said, memorize God's word. He said, you could go to a seminary <coughs> and the professors didn't even need to own a Bible. Wow. So, so if, a, if a man goes into the priesthood with purple in his heart, he's going to have purple fruit. Or if a, if a I mean, we've seen, Anybody. We've seen evangelists. Yeah. Exactly, evangelists. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. We've, on exactly. Christian television, we've seen a whole display. Exactly, exactly. Preachers, right, right. Y you yeah. name it. Yeah. I mean, well, and I, I mean, look how many years I was yeah. on, in, in ministry and even on your show. You never once asked me, do you ever have immoral thoughts? That's right. And I would have gone, yeah. what was that again? Yeah. <laughs> well, when we come back, part two, I'm going to ask him. Okay? And then we're going <laughs> <we're gonna> to <laughs> talk about memorize and meditate. Yes, yes. Wow, this is, this is a great subject. Above all else, guard your heart. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? Mm -hmm. And how do you get that passionate response that he gets when he's talking to the Lord? Mm -hmm. Be right back. Mm -hmm.